All right. This is day number three. Let's do some check-ins on everybody. How are we feeling today? We're getting closer and closer. Closer to my dream. You know, this is it. Let's do it. Let's place in the chat how we're feeling tonight. Greetings and welcome to our Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics that relate to the case of Robert Sylvester Kelly. You are now listening to the Get In Tune in June podcast. So this is day three, counting down of the sentencing for Robert Sylvester Kelly. Number three represents understanding. And that's what we show and prove to complete knowledge and wisdom. We can have a man, a woman, and a child. Because understanding, according to Supreme Mathematics, equals the number three. It is the original child, which is the star. The highest form of understanding is love. The bond between man, woman, or knowledge and wisdom. So for those who are in the Christian tradition of spirituality, you must say that it is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that represents the number three. So allow your spiritual essence to move for you tonight. And all you do, think high in wisdom. Think high in wisdom. The triangle creates the balance in mathematics, not the square, the triangle. So I did a deep meditation last night after I realized I couldn't get on to do lives. I guess it's very, very overwhelming. Um, so I went deep within and I meditated. And I was told to do a reading from Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly regarding the question, what we need to learn from this sentencing hearing. So I pulled several cards and placed them in past, present, and future realm positions. And the focus area are as follows. Number one, the audio issues that we were having on the channel was to mute R. Kelly again to make others lose hope and think based on social media presence. Number two, faith is the fact of knowing that what is must be because we speak it into our realm of existence and our thoughts. And so what we think and speak, it comes forth. So, and number three, the powers that be right now in all realms, spiritual, physical, mental, financial, emotional, sexual, it's all agitated. It's aggravated. So the first card in the past position is the two of swords. It came out. Now, what does that mean for those who don't practice the tarot, it's okay. I'm going to break everything down to you. And it's going to be very, very simple. The two of swords came out in the past position for Robert. This indicates that a person is facing a challenging decision, but that they are unclear of what option to take. Now, both possibilities can equally seem good, but the person is sitting in a position with a blindfold over her eyes because it's a feminine energy telling us that the woman or the feminine energy is confused about what to do. She's confused. I also got a spiritual connection that she can see neither the problem nor the solution clearly. She can't even see what's going on. She may also 
be missing relevant information regarding Robert Sylvester Kelly that would make her decision much clearer only if she knew. A sentencing is about the life. If she were to obtain the information about his life on all areas, the swords that she holds in her hand are in perfect balance alignment, suggesting that she can weigh her thoughts and address both sides of the situation to find the best resolution for Robert Sylvester Kelly. And everyone knows that the energy that we are speaking of in this, in the, in the two of swords is judge Ann Donnelly. She was the first energy that popped out. She suited perfectly. So what you are, what you are thinking shows forth. Because other than that, when I asked the spirit to guide me on this reading, that was the energy that showed up. So what are your thoughts about that? If we put Judge Ann Donnelly and the congressional legislation into the human realm, the human form, not form of power, higher or lower, or deceitful or regretful for Robert, but for equal human right, there has to be something positive that must show forth. It must show forth. So, I mean, that was deep. That was deep for me because I saw Judge Donnelly in this energy. You know, she has the power, but she's blinded. She's blinded. She can't see. And how can you judge a person in a life position and you cannot see? You're blinded by the truth and not in a good way, not in a positive, productive way, but in a negative way. So that's why we have said here at R. Kelly Appeal TV, that no one has the authority to judge anyone on that level, on that level of Robert Sylvester Kelly, because he is a human being prone to error, to make mistakes and to rectify those mistakes. Okay. And then in the second card, the three of Pentacles introduced the number three of which we are discussing in today's segment. So I got it. Now in the tarot, three of pentacles is a positive attribute. It's a con, con, it is a, a creative mastery of a skill or a trade or a job that is being achieved, perfected. There's an artistic ability and a dignity through being renowned. So you have a rank of power. And um, in this rank of power, this card automatically represented to me Robert Sylvester Kelly in a way that symbolizes his ability. So Judge Donnelly must take all of what he has experienced and gave to the world into account before judging him correctly. Personal judgment cannot taint her decision. Robert has worked for his coins in ways that goes without speaking. However, others have worked hard to take that coin or ability to retire in a happy place away from him. Due to poor judgment calls, due to jealousy and envy, due to rage and, 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 and sarcasm. Due to poor judgment calls regarding who he spent his pinnacles or money on determines what others are wishing upon his real living life. And you know, this area here, a very minor card in the Arcana deck, but it is a case presently that is about the mental thought. How 
what is right when we're deciding a life fate of another person? And how can we do that blindedly? For what is judged by he shall be done to thee. Karmic law of attraction. Then the king of cups revealed itself. So the king of cups was the third card. And in the cups, we're dealing, we're talking specifically emotion. It is something that is liquid that flows through time and space. So the liquid asset of everything that has been gifted, given, stolen, and returned should be also considered within the sentencing. He was gifted the life of a singer. He came to the planet with a ability to do that. Given what has he given over the course of his life, you must take that into consideration. You must take that into account because he could have been greedy, selfish, never took care of anybody. Maybe, you know, however, and even if it was two dollars, if he gave it away, it was philanthropy. It was philanthropy. And re stolen. You have to take into account the balance of life for the things that have been stolen, that has been taken, the disability, the dyslexia, the addiction because of the way that he was raised and returned all the good supporters that supported him and gave to him and went to every video, every video show, every, every concert, every tour. Who takes care of him now? Who put homes up just for bond? And returned should be considered within the sentencing. Not just the physical wrongs of this human with the disability of teaching about how to live and how to experience life that can be claimed to be considered to take his very life? No, that's not what we do with the King of Cups. So the King sits in his future position, representing the mastery over the realm of his emotion, creativity, and the unconscious world, the world that is unknown to us. It is a spiritual awakening that Robert is in right now. He is in the cocoon, the spiritual cocoon of his mother's womb, not his first physical mother, but his mother's womb of creating the consciousness of who Robert is to this date. Again, he has been gaining strength through his uniform because you put on the whole armor. So when you put on the armor of incarceration, you do what you do to get to know who you are. So as the king gains strength through his garb, just as a king wears, you know, his uniform, the fish will represent new life and creativity. See, everything has a subliminal conscious connection to something. And in his right hand, the King of Cups represents the emotions that he endures by himself. He's going to endure some hard, dark nights alone, which he has. Maybe he was afraid to be alone. Okay, maybe he was lonely. There's a difference between being alone and being lonely. And the scepter in his other hand, showing the power that he possesses within the realm of spirit. He has the spirit guiding, protecting, and empowering him at this point. So the King of Cups is looking at his cups through the mastery of his lesson. What have you learned, Robert? You must prepare yourself through this manifestation in order to come out victoriously. You must continue to create the best life for yourself, even in the worst of situations. You must search 
within yourself to find your higher power that helps you work this thing out for you in the best interest of you, Robert. We are mere observers to the situation. We may want the best. We may want the not the best. We may want confusion. We may want distraction. But the King of Cups is going to deal with his emotion within his inner self. And he's going to hold his head high. And he's going to show and prove the King within him. Now, the Queen of Cups entered the reading, and her position is a nurturer, a compassionate woman, a caring woman. Yeah, and we just talked about that. Look at how the Spirit recreated this whole concept to support him. And when we see her come into the deck, we become the embodiment of her as the feminine attribute of love and deep concern for Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. We are the nurturer. So the queen is going to sit on her throne. Jennifer, sit on your throne. You, as a female, a feminine attribute for Robert Sylvester Kelly, you sit on your throne. And Donnelly, you sit on your throne. I will sit on my throne and all female supporters we need to recognize the unconscious mind that represents emotion because that's what we're facing now. This is a spiritual warfare and the sky surrounds the queen. And if you look at it, there is life in the sky. So nothing that has life is going to die. It never can. The sky surrounds the queen. Life is plentiful. We are all part of the mother nurturing love realm. This is how we keep and protect our men. And this is why so many generations we've never died out as a culture. This is how we keep and protect our men through spiritual mentality. And the final card that came out of the deck was the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands carries. This man is carrying so much overload. He is so burdened. He is so overwhelmed with the chaos of life and people that have abused him because the weight of the world has been on his shoulders. So this card requests that the person in question stop, examine his current lifestyle, or work, current or past, and assess which activity or task is most important or most urgent, particularly concerning the mental well being and health, the mental health, the psychological health. Robert has been weighed down for far too long and has carried the burden of an entire world teaching and singing love in all areas of success, carrying a large burden, carrying a bundle of weight upon his shoulders uphill, trying to put it all together, but doing it all with the Chicago swag when he wasn't supposed to even do it somehow or another through all the allegations, through all the hate, through all the envy, through all the jealousy, through all the happiness, through all the success, through all the financial abundance, through all of that, the Maseratis, the, the Maybachs, through all of that, the, the, the Gucci's, the, you know, Prada's, you know, all that, the bags, the mansions, the grills, the parties, the after parties, the VIPs, the, the Dome Perignon, cognacs, the stogies, through all of that, doing it Chicago swag. He is almost at his destination and will soon be able to release the heaviness of all that he has been carrying because he now sees the king within him. 
the true king, not the king of R&B, but the true king within him. He's been carrying a lot and beginning a new area to life for him is the most valuable thing we can take tonight. So may this reading comfort you during this stressful time, but it's not stressful because him and his higher power are working this thing out. Meditate upon Robert for the ultimate best outcome for him and leave it be and watch your support grow within him. You'll see it through the TV. You'll see it through the statements that we receive from the sentencing. Be like, dang, oh, that's how it, okay. Yeah. So I will see you tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about day two of the sentencing countdown. Please give this video a thumbs up on this podcast so that it can go into the algorithms and others will be able to see it and also have the support that they need in order to get through this time as well. Yeah, but tomorrow, day two of the sentencing countdown. And two represents what? Union between spirituality and human self. Or better yet, ourselves and our higher source of God power. Always keep it 100, and we'll see you next time.